Marty, come on. See, you've probably bitten into over a thousand pizza slices in your lifetime, but have you ever wondered why the cheese and toppings taste so good? Well, stay tuned because today we're exploring the anatomy of pizza and why it's everyone's favorite food. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Champion never ends For every season there's Another reason for you to come discover Wisconsin This episode of Discover Wisconsin, America's Dairyland, is brought to you by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin. The Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. America's Dairyland is your land. Ah, pizza. Some consider it food of the gods. Others, a canvas to create a masterpiece using any number of ingredients, including Wisconsin cheese. And it has quite a storied history. By the beginning of the 1900s, pizza had made its way into some cities in the United States, thanks to Italian immigrants. American soldiers further prompted its popularity at the end of World War II, having sampled it while serving in Italy. Nowadays, more than 93% of Americans eat pizza once a month, and chances are you're one of them. With that kind of popularity, let's explore why pizza is the quintessential food of choice among young and old alike. Okay, let's start with that one ingredient that makes pizza so utterly delicious and fulfilling, Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. You may not know it, but there's a lot of research that goes into crafting the perfect mozzarella cheese to top your pizza. And John Yagi at the Center for Dairy Research at UW-Madison really knows his mozz. The starter culture is what drives the whole process. This is bacteria, live bacteria, that we're going to put into the milk now, and what that will do is it'll acidify the milk, and this is how one of the ways we can control the functionality of the cheese, the melt, and the stretch by the amount and the type of starter we put in the cheese vat. Wow, this is neat. Let's throw it in. Okay. All right, here we go. These UW researchers make cheese and test it to see how different cheese making methods enhance or change the quality of the mozzarella. But making cheese isn't the only part of mozzarella testing that goes on at the Center for Dairy Research. Let's head up to the lab for more tasting, I mean testing, uh, research. Just a little more. So now that we know how the cheese is made, we really wanna see how the cheese is gonna react in the oven on the pizza. Dean, I think we're ready. Voila, into the oven it goes. It's here where the real test begins. Hmm, makes you wonder, how will this cheese hold up? So I mean, these cheeses are the same exact cheeses, but in this case, we bake the pizza in a home consumer oven, and this cheese was bought at the retail store, so that's what it was intended for, but we took the exact same cheese on this pie and baked it in our commercial oven like a food service establishment would use and you can see how much darker it is and how much burnt it was. So the oven really affects how the cheese performs. That's really it amazing. Aha, I get it. So it's not just how mozzarella performs, it's how different varieties of cheese might react with mozzarella on a pizza. Now as good as this looks, you actually do this for a purpose. We do. We do it for educational purposes to show how different cheeses that could be blended with mozzarella on a pizza, how they differ in their characteristics, how they differ in oiling off, how they differ in browning, how they differ in their melt characteristics, and how they differ in their stretch characteristics. Oh no! I think I left the oven on! Whoops! Sometimes these things happen. But one thing's for sure. Blended cheeses enhance the overall flavor of pizza. Just ask Chef Ulrich Koberstein, Director of Culinary at Sargento Foods, where they craft specialty blends of shredded cheeses. So it really helps to use a cheese that has more flavor or multitude of different flavored cheeses that you can put together that really complement what you're cooking with. And by using toppings such as shrimp and chorizo, the cheese variables are, well, endless. 
It isn't challenging, you don't have to think too much about it, and when you find a great pizza, you love it. Discover our favorite pizza places by going to our website and choosing destination, America's Dairyland. We're sure that you'll love this. Salud. Cheers. Stay tuned. Welcome back as we discover the great taste of Wisconsin pizza. So now that we've discovered the anatomy of the cheese, we're on to our second ingredient, the crust. Let's go, I'm hungry. You coming? First stop, Racine, where tucked into a corner of an urban neighborhood sits Wells Brothers Pizza. They're as rich in history as they are in pizza. Surviving a fire that leveled the place in 1967, this decades-old dough press keeps cranking out award-winning pizza crust. All right, let's put it through the machine. All right. First, you just kind of flatten it out a little bit. Yeah, we're just flattening it out so it's somewhat round. Okay. Okay. Throw it up on the thing, and we're going to just adjust as we go here. First one is not going to be so tight. So what you want to do is kind of get a little bit oblong. We're going to take it and turn it. Don't have to put any more flour on it. And then you put a little more pressure on it. Okay. You can feel how it's starting to get nice and thin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, it, you know, it works out nice. And what you want to do is just keep spinning it around to you get pretty much a nice round. Now, that, that circle is 16 inches. And they top that 16 inches with select ingredients and bake it to perfection. It's their trademark thin crust, quality Wisconsin mozzarella cheese, and fresh toppings that have kept Wells Brothers a favorite among locals. Being from Racine, I couldn't resist biting into a slice. Yeah. Oh. That's a good perfect. pie. Perfect. Crust is perfect. Think we you can get good. a table here? Another Wisconsin gem that makes notable crust is Il Retrovo in Sheboygan. The restaurant boasts the only certified wood-fired Neapolitan-style pizzeria in the state. All right, so we've tried the thin crust. We love that. But now, maybe you're looking for something a little bit doughier. Take a look at this. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Let's go back and see how they do this. Ask any of their customers and they'll likely say this pizza tastes great because of its simplicity. So I decided to see for myself. Less Sweet. is more is what they say Less with this more, pizza. Less is more, it's all about balance and quality ingredients and tasting what is on the pizza. But you guys do a special pizza usually every day. We do, we, we change it up just about every day and it features a a different product that we want to showcase on the pizza. Different cheese or meat or whatever. All right, and next, the curds. And now we're ready for our handmade mozzarella. So we'll take a handful, squeeze out some of the extra moisture. Well, there's a reason there's so much moisture in this fresh mozzarella. They make it by hand from fresh curd. The reason we did this is we came back from Italy with a pizza maker, and we were struggling to get the <laughs> cheese to be just the right way. Fresh mozzarella was too wet, Loaf mozzarella was a little too dry, so we decided to make our own. And then it just, it's, it's just an incredible product. We then chop it up, put it out on the pizza line, and it sort of dries out a little bit, and then it's just right to go on those pizzas. Perfect. Simple, fresh, and, oh heck, decide for yourself when you visit. Next, we're headed north on our pizza anatomy adventure, investigating more crust and, well, local cheeses. Let the pizza tour continue right here in Eagle River at Riverstone. Everybody, this is Chef Jason. We're gonna learn how to make another pizza with real Wisconsin cheese, and not just one kind of cheese, several, right? That's correct. All right, let's dive in. So what kind of crust do you guys like? Well, we do a, a hand toss, traditional um, dough here at Riverstone. We uh, mix it from scratch. Okay. And just work it over your hands so that you can stretch it out. Okay. The right size. Mine looks a little aged, like a few more pizza wrinkles. Yours looks a little fresher, a little newer. I think you plotted that against me. Uh, could be. Or it could be just the fact that you're new. <laughs> <laughs> well, new or not, we ended up making a hand-tossed pizza with a crust that had true crunch, not to mention cheesy flavor. Right, Wisconsin cheese. Oh my gosh, you can taste the blue. Definitely the parm. That's fantastic. And you know, the oil, I can taste that too. A little garlic flavor. Uh, you guys, he makes a mean pizza. Make sure you get to Riverstone. 
For even more cheesy pizza recipes, log on to discoverwisconsin.com and choose destination America's Dairyland. Don't go away. Lastly, the cheese, the curds. cheese curds. And get ready for more lip-smacking pizza. Welcome back to your guide into the anatomy of pizza, the great taste of Wisconsin. So today I'm feeling just a little saucy and we've talked cheese, we've talked crust, now it's time to talk sauces and fresh ingredients. And we're here with Britton at Wild Tomato. You guys make a unique pizza, tell me about it. We do, we've uh, got the cheese head pizza and it's got your the regular tomato sauce, but then it has broccoli, spinach, bacon, chicken, and then it's topped with cheese curds. Mm. Makes it a little bit that different. That is a cheese, the only thing we're missing is the actual cheese head, so let's get to it. Okay. Fresh local ingredients, Wisconsin cheese, and seeing your pizza made right in front of you is what keeps pizza connoisseurs coming back to this little slice of heaven in Door County. So despite what people may think, you can shy away from that tomato sauce. Talk about these two sauces for these great pizzas. Well, we always have the red sauce as a standby, but we've got an artichoke dip here for the base, and then this is a garlic and herb cream cheese for the fun guy. Very unique, out of the ordinary. Absolutely, really different. This one, especially with the mushrooms, it is, it shines. It's here. his favorite, I can mm -hmm. tell. It is. All right, let's get in there and okay. try it. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, I couldn't wait. Another creative pizza concept is the La Fortuna Mobile Pizza Oven. It brings pizza to the people rather than people to the pizza parlor. How cool is that? It's fun to do street festivals because that's when we see people, a, a large number of people who have never seen anything like this before. And then their jaw drops and then they start saying, oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. La Fortuna was built from a dream, literally. Scott's wife, Jen, dreamed up the idea during sleep deprived nights raising their newborn daughter. And let's face it, I bet you even occasionally dream of biting into a delicious slice of gooey goodness. Our philosophy of pizza, it, although our flavor is firmly rooted in Wisconsin, our inspiration is from the Neapolitan style. And in Naples, the pizzas are simple. Our crust is a delicious bread. And then we adorn it with a few simple things to enhance its taste and make it even more interesting to eat. It's quite simply a dreamy pizza that brings pizza lovers back for more. Not to be outdone, Scotty's Pizza in Marshfield offers up some interesting choices. There's the Euro pizza. Yup, you heard that right. Lamb and cucumber sauce on pizza. But that's not all Scotty's has to offer. The different sauces we have are the, the barbecue sauce we use, ranch dressing, Alfredo sauce, uh, garlic, butter. So if you're looking to get away from the typical and move into the extraordinary, Scotty's delivers. Um, our broccoli, bacon, and cheese is our number one selling pizza out of all the pizzas. Take our word for it. We tried it, we liked it, and it tastes like no other. Download a map of featured pizza joints by going to our website and choosing Destination America's Dairyland. If you're dialing for your own pizza right now, you better make it fast. You don't want to miss what's next. Here's your pizza. We're back for some, ooh, hot secrets about pizza, the great taste of Wisconsin. Heading north to Cable, I found my own little diamond in the rough. So I've been tossing around a few ideas. We've learned enough about crust. Now it's time to talk about those fresh ingredients. We've come to the right place. Perfect. How important are these fresh ingredients, Mick? Very important. It's kind of the key to everything we do. We start with a uh, good piece of dough, and then the ingredients make the pizza. The oven and the ingredients make the pizza. All right, so I was checking out the menu. There's no uh, normal type pizza here, and I love the name. So we're going to make kind of a funky pizza. We are. We're going to make a pizza called the Spirit Creek, and it's named after a river um, that's uh, north of here. And uh, we're going to use all local ingredients. In fact, the reason we call it the Spirit Creek is the sauerkraut that we use is a local organic sauerkraut that comes from the Spirit Creek Farm, which is right next to Spirit Creek, thus the Spirit Creek Pizza. You know, the spirit in the river's eatery is just as engaging and warm as the pizzas. Sir, it looks like you need a little help with this pizza. No, and there was a spot open. No, that's my pizza. What is it about these pizzas that keep you coming back? They're delicious. And the crust is really good. Whoa, 
Clearly this pizza passes the taste test. I can't say I've ever had sauerkraut on a pizza and the sauerkraut is beautiful. All Wisconsin. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Good, good, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I wish you could be here to eat this. If fresh and local flavor is what you seek, you'll discover it in the west central part of the state at Suncrest Gardens Farm in Cochrane. And guess what? They grow their own ingredients right here on the farm. Raising real food that people can enjoy and they get to come out and just sort of create a community of people and entertainment that just brings a, a richness to all their lives. So it's fun to share it with everybody. Enjoying the scenery as well as the food, makes this outdoor parlor an experience as memorable as the pizza. Well, it's the, the local flavors, you know, that are all blended together and in kind of unique ways on the pizza. You know, there's not just one way to make a pizza. At Nelson Stone Barn in Nelson, Wisconsin, they also serve pizza fresh and local. And here you have all the fresh artisan cheese that I can get from around here that's fresh made is always the best. You taste it, it comes right through on the pizzas. And the great news is, you won't have to wait long to bite into these pizza pies. It flash cooks it, so if it's not fresh, you'll really taste it. It makes a huge difference whether the ingredients are fresh. Another pizzeria that subscribes to the Code of Freshness is a Madison favorite, the Roman Candle. And their pies have amassed quite a following. This is what I would call a cult favorite. People who like this pizza love this pizza. We start with a, uh, a base of Alfredo sauce, which is made right downtown in Madison at uh, RP's Pasta. We put beets, uh, delicious Wisconsin mozzarella cheese, and blue cheese. We put caramelized onions, which we, which we caramelize ourselves, and walnuts. Wow. And then we top it once it comes out of the oven with some nice, fresh arugula, which gives it a nutty, crisp flavor. For those outside the box eaters. Correct, although it is delicious in a pizza box as well. <laughs> Out of the box ingredients with a touch of freshness thrown in to top it off. Now that we've got this fresh agomalo out of the oven, we're gonna top it a little fresh arugula just to finish it off and give it a little bit of a bite right at the end. So if you lean towards the eclectic or just plain fresh and delectable, you're in for a treat. Okay, we appreciate the order. We'll have that to you as soon as we can. Thank you. Brewer, it sounds like you guys are really busy. I'm getting really good at making pizzas. Why don't I help you out? I'll tell you what, uh, when you get back from taking your very first delivery, we'll let you make some pizzas in the kitchen. This needs to get out right oh, now. No problem. It's still hot. It's Thank you. I really want to impress Brewer, but this pizza smells so good. I just have to take one bite. I don't think they'll notice. I hope we didn't make you too hungry, but Come on, we know we did. If you're looking for that great pizza topped with real Wisconsin cheese, you know it's only a phone call or short car trip away. Join us again next week as we continue to discover more of Wisconsin. You gonna join me or what? This episode of Discover Wisconsin, America's Dairyland, is brought to you by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin. The Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. America's Dairyland is your land. You know, Wisconsin is filled with so many exciting things to do. So travel Wisconsin and find out for yourself. There's a destination just waiting to be discovered by you. For more information and bonus video from the episode, go to discoverwisconsin.com. While you're there, click on the Kadiddle link to watch entire episodes from this season or past season. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discover Wisconsin Radio all across the state. Hi, here's your pizza. Right. Enjoy. Thank you. Smells You're welcome. delicious. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, wait. There's a piece missing. Whoops, sorry.